Your Excellencies, Your Majesty, the King of Lassis Asad, the custodian of the holy, two holy mosques for convening this summit. I thank the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Kingdom. Your ladies and gentlemen, your Excellencies, Salaamu Alaikum. It is with profound sense of duty that I call before you as we walk to end the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and realize the two-state solution. This is awesome and very urgent. Conflict in Palestinian homeland has persisted for too long, inflicting immeasurable suffering on countless lives. As representative of nations that value justice, dignity, and the sanctity of human life, we have a moral obligation to collectively they bring about immediate end to this conflict. It is not enough to issue condemnations. The work must work towards an end to this aggression in Gaza, which has persisted for too long, for too long human lives have you heard has been lost. No security concern should come at the expense of many innocent lives. In a rule-based international order, states have the right of self-defense. But self-defense must take opportunity, proportionality into account in line with global legal diplomatic a moral framework. An entire civilian population in their dreams and futures cannot be dismissed as collateral. Your Excellencies, Your Royal Majesties, the two-state solution stand as a beacon of hope. I agree. Representing the right of both Israelis and Palestinians to serve determination and peace. It is not just a diplomatic article of faith, it is a vision grounded in principle of quality and mutual recognition. Achieving this vision requires a commitment to dialogue and deal making in respect for history. We know this conflict did not begin in October 2023. It can only be resolved through principled compromise based on appreciation of, proper, of the proper context. The conflict in the is a great of history is so visceral that the ripples of this division spar spread far and quickly. The corrosive impact of images of endless violence repeated on a billion smartphones around the world is huge. We need to find a new pathway to peace without delay. Nigeria has always championed the cause of peace and cooperation among nations. Our own experiences, dom domestically and regionally, have taught us that identity politics are no substitute for respecting the nuances of diversity. The path to reconciliation may be fraught with challenges, but it is through honest conversation and deal-making that we can foster understanding. 
the international community has the opportunity to bear the new resolution. Your Highnesses, let us forget the human cost of this conflict. We must prioritize the voices of the families stones apart. The children who grew up in fear and the communities that for long rescue for, insta for stability. It is our responsibility to advocate for their rights, build a future where their dreams are no longer stifled by nightmare. I call upon all of us to come together in solidarity, to stand firm in our resolve, and to work towards peaceful coexistence, free from fear and violence. Together we can turn the vision of a two-state solution into reality. I say until then, we cannot relent. Finally, Nigeria calls for a creation of a dedicated secretariat. Thank you, Our Royal Majesty. Please do this on a long time basis so that the selected head of government who travel globally can first support who foresee the implementation of the summit resolution and provide regular report to joint OIC and Arab leadership until permanent peace is achieved. So I submit. I thank you all for listening. Salam alaikum.